Okay, we got four choices today. We got A. What does Alice or the Radio Demon think of you? B. 24 hours in a room with Alistair. C. Which has been hotel character is your soulmate? D. Does Alistair really like you? Just for fun. Okay. Um, bing bang boop bop. Bing bang boop bop. Bing bang boom bam bop. We got 24 hours, hours with Alistair. You wake up in a quite old fashioned and fancy house. You were chained to a wall. A man walks towards you and you panic and scream and beg him not to kill you. He only looks at you with a wide smile. His teeth were sharper than any normal human's teeth or was he even human? You stay calm. You keep a straight face. Maybe you could reason with him. He looks at you. A slight smile was on his face. He was slightly surprised at your braveness. He looks at you. Hello, my dear. He spoke. Who are you? He cut you off. Tell me your name first. He looks at you. You shake your head. No, you first. Nope. Lady slash gentleman first. He growled. Stay quiet and put a knife to you. You look at him. Fine. It was. It is Alistair. I just want to say my name. Okay, but yeah. Alistair looks at you and unchains you. He grabs you by the shoulders roughly and is behind you, guiding you to a small library. There's a picture of him sitting down and ripping his head, covered in blood. You get scared and frantic, trying to escape his grasp quickly. Alistair tightens his grip on your shoulders, making you keep walking. You keep calm and try and not pay attention to the picture, shrugging it off. Alistair hugs you slightly. You guys sit down, Alistair looks at you, so don't freak out, but I am a serial killer and that picture was actually me. Anyways, what do you like to do? Stay calm and smile. I like to insert what you like doing. So he smiles. Interesting. He was staring at you slightly. You notice and stare back at him, making him look away. You growl, but you tell him. Alistair rolled his eyes. You were getting tired, you yawned, and your eyes were getting heavy. Alistair sees this. Get some sleep, my dear. I don't bite you. Sleep somewhere in a corner. Far away. He growls slightly and frowns. You lay your head on Alistair's shoulder. He blushes slightly and wraps an arm around you. I mean, like, I would just... I would just get something else, not, not Alistair's shoulder, but okay. Alistair wakes up. You wake up to see him as a dear person. Alistair smiles. Ah, you're awake. How lovely. You smile and you nod and boop him. He blushes and boops you back on the nose. You both laugh. You slap him hard. He growls and holds his hands up. Black tentacles wrap around you. Alistair sadly looks at you as a ringing sound goes off. Well, I grab you. Time to go. Can't, Alistair says, can't they stay? What do you say, person? I would love to stay. Alistair happily jumps with joy and hugs you. Nope, not with a dear creature. Alistair looks hurt, then angry. I'm a fucking Gemini. Do you think I would do that? Do you think I would do that to a deer? No. <laughs> I love you too, Alistair. I love you so much. You're the best in As you stay with him, he soon catches feelings for you. He saw an opportunity to tell you his feelings. I don't actually like you. I'm sorry. I just want to be friends, okay? That, that's all I ask. <laughs> um, Al Alistair, I, I think you should just get, go away for a bit. Please. 
go get away yeah i think that's good um <clears throat> As you stay with him, he soon catches feelings for you and he realizes that he and you could have best friend potential, so he hugs you. And then you guys go out for ice cream. But you get him some meat and then just put it on an ice cream cone since he doesn't like sweet things. Don't ever do this. I, I don't like him, okay? Okay, that's all. <laughs> I'm sorry. But just, Alistair, all I ask is that we're friends, okay? That's it. That's all. That's all. You got it? I hope you got it. Okay, great.